Hey guys, Foxito here. Today I'm bringing you the Hero Gear Grind episode for the Cyrus Specialist. In the background you see me playing with the uh, Annihilator pistol and getting some score streaks with the combat focus. So uh, that's about the gameplay. So for the Hero Hat, it's a bit of a different challenge this time. You have to get four score streaks while using the combat focus in a single game, four games. So you don't have to get kills with the combat focus. But you have to get score six, which is not that weird actually, but it's different than the other specialists. So uh, the game mode, I did it in Team that match, but uh, Domination is also a very good game mode. You get uh, 200 points per flag capture and you get 200 points per flag kill. And if you double that with Comet Focus, you get 400 points. And that's just uh, a lot. A lot to the score streaks we'll be using. I will uh, talk about them later. Uh, for the class setup, you want to definitely want to have overclock because overclock allows you to get the combat focus one more time in a single game of team deathmatch, I think, and I think also in domination and other game modes. So for the score streaks, you want to be using the lowest ones, the HDXD, the UAV, and the care package because these are the easiest ones to get. But a little tip here: for the HDXD, you need 400 points. So that's two kills with the combat focus. But if you already have 200 points, so two kills, you only have to get one kill with the combat focus to get your first streak. So, uh, and one kill to get with the combat focus is obviously easier to get than two kills with the combat focus. Another tip: when you have, um, when you already have your HXZ and you activate the combat focus and you get another HXZ your score streaks will stack and when your score streaks stack I don't think they count towards your four score streaks in a single game so be sure to use your HXZ and to use your care package and to use your UAV before you use the combat focus again this challenge was not that hard to do so let's move on to the hero body you have to get six kills with the annihilator vessel in a single game six games so um, this was not that hard either but it was a little bit harder. I think personally the Tempest is a little bit more easier to use but um, let's go for the game mode. You, I did it in Team Deathmatch. Uh, course highly recommended because the Annihilator pistol kills in one shot and most weapons in um, Hardcore do. So uh, weapons with a higher rate of fire will have the advantage over you. So uh, every game mode is okay, uh, but Search and Destroy does just not enough kills, so uh, everything with Search and Destroy is okay. For the class setup, you want, definitely want to use uh, Overclock, you want to get the Annihilator a little bit uh, faster, one time more in a single game. So you can get, like say, two kills with the Annihilator per use, and that's okay, but if you get more, that's of course very good. Um, for the score streaks, new EV is uh, new EV can come in handy because if you know where your enemies are, you know when you are safe or not. But you know when you can call in your uh, annihilator because when you use your annihilator and you can shut in the back immediately, your annihilator is gone and you just screwed up a chance and that's not what you want. It's also good to know if there are enemies in corners or something because you don't want to get shot in the back uh, when you just pull your annihilator out. So uh, one tip, don't rush too much and aim precisely. The Annihilator has a somewhat slower aim than side time, so rushing is not recommended because you won't be uh, reacting that uh, fast. You have to aim precisely because the fire rate of the Annihilator is very slow. If you shoot once and you miss, you're probably dead. So uh, keep that in mind. Only hip fire if really necessary because because of the slow fire rate, you're not gonna be in an advantageous position when you're hip fire with the annihilator. So uh, also keep that in mind. So uh, those were my tips for the Hero Grand episode for the Seraph Specialist. I hope you enjoyed them. The previous video was on the LMG Dark Matter Guide and the next video will be on the Sniper Dark Matter Guide, which was very, very hard to do. So uh, if you enjoyed, Please leave a like and subscribe if you want to see more content. I will leave you with the rest of the gameplay and I'll see you next time. Bye bye. Executed.
warning for all enemies of the 54i. Annihilated. Hostile HCXD in your AO. Thank you. 